Hello, Jamie the Board Game Man. Today we're looking at a two-player abstract game from Blue Orange Games that came out in the year 2014. It is called Naya. Now, in Naya, you have 16 tiles out on the ground on the uh, the table, and what you do is you place one of your tokens on the one of these tiles. You're going to take that, remove that tile. Each tile has two characteristics on it, and then once you choose that tile, you're going to replace it with your your token. And the other player, the opponent, must choose one of those two characteristics on that tile to place their tile on the game board surface. So you have to, they have to choose, okay, if there's a bird and a cherry tree on there, I have to choose a bird or cherry tree to place my token on the board. Each one of these characteristics are on there four times. Really crazy, and you're trying to get four in a row, either diagonally, horizontally, vertically, or in like a four square, like a square, one, two, three, four, that kind of thing. And that's how you win the game. Really, really cool little game. Let's head on down to the gamers table where I'm going to show you how to play Naya. All right, everybody, here we are at the gamers table with Naya. All right, let's take a look. So here is the setup of the game. Uh, each player will have black tokens and red tokens, and you're going to have 16 tiles. Now the object of the game is you're trying to get either four in a row, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, or you can have four, like in four square, okay? That each representing a clan, players must follow the patterns set by their rival to position their tokens in one of the victory conditions. Strategy and shrewd decisions will lead your clan to seize control of the garden and power at court. All right, so that's kind of the backdrop of what you're doing in this game. Now, you can tell that each garden tile is composed of two elements. Okay, each one has two things on it. As you can see, you have a rising sun. You're gonna have four of those. You're also gonna have a poem flag, which are these little flags here. You'll also have some birds. A bird here, bird here, bird here and bird here, all right? You also have some rain clouds, one, two, three, and four. You also have some maple leaves, which are these little leaves here, one, two, <clears throat> three, and four. You also have a cherry tree, which are these little trees right here, that one, two, three, and four. You also have pine trees, which are these right here, that look like more like cactus, but whatever. Uh, one, two, three, and four. And then for the last one is iris. So you have the iris is here, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so the first player, let's just say the black coins go first here. These are actually pretty cool. They're good plastic and have Naya on the back here. And you're each, each has a picture of a member of the clan. So what you're gonna do on your first turn, whoever's the first player, it's the youngest player goes first in this game, is you're going to choose one of these tiles on the outer edge. First, let's just say this player takes this one here. You're going to place it with your tile and you're going to place this to the side. Okay, let's put it down here. That way you can see it in the forefront here. Now, the next player must push, put their tile on one of the two of these characteristics the pine tree or the rising sun. So let's just say he's going to go, I'm going to go ahead and place my red one, uh, let's see, right here. He decides to place his right here. Now the next player, the black player, is going to look and say, okay, I got the pine tree or the poem flag. So I have to choose one of those tiles that he has either, either or on there. Let's just say this player decides, okay, I'm going to go ahead and go over here and put that here. Now red is going to look at this and go, okay, now I have to put it on either a poem flag or an iris. So he decides, okay, I'm going to go ahead and place my red one right here. Okay, now black has to choose between the tree and the, uh, should the cherry tree, I should say, because there's two different trees, the cherry tree or the poem flag. So this time, let's see here, black's going to decide to put it, let's see, right here. Okay. Now it's Red's turn. Red's going to look and see if we got the cherry tree or the rising sun. 
let's just say this player wants to go ahead and put it right here. All right, now the black clan has to look and say, okay, you got the cherry tree or a bird. So let's just say he decides to go cherry tree or the bird. Now let's go ahead and put it right here. We're going to try to do something over here. All right, so now the red player is going to look and say, okay, we got a cherry, or I'm sorry, not cherry tree, the pine tree or a bird. Okay, so let's see here. So the red player is going to say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it right. Let's see. He's going to put it right here because he knows something's brewing right here. So he's going to put that red one to block him there. Now, now what we've got now is the red player is going to look and see, okay, we've got, I'm sorry, the black side over here. He's going to look and say, okay, we got, we got, what is this, the pine tree or rain clouds? So the black player is going to look at this and say, okay, pine tree or rain clouds? He's going to go ahead and place this right here okay now red is going to look and say okay you either got the maple leaves or the rain clouds so red's going to look and say okay what do i want to do here i'm going to place this right here all right and now black has to choose between the cherry tree or the rain clouds and he's going to look over here and say okay let's see Choose cherry tree or the rain clouds. I have to go right here. So he places that here. Okay. And then the next player, red, is going to go, okay, I have to look either the iris or the rain clouds. Well, you know, obviously he wants to just say he goes stupidly. He goes right here, doesn't see the move that's coming up here. All right. And then the blacks can decide, okay, you got iris or the rising sun. He's going to go for the iris. And wins the game. He's got four diagonally in a row here. He ends up winning the game. Okay, and that's how you play the game. So there's different ways the way, the way this game ends is if you get four in a row, or the four like a square, or the other player does not have a move. If the other player doesn't have a move, then you win as well. And that is pretty much how you play Naya. You're pretty much controlling what the next player can put their tile on by the tile that you choose on your turn. And they have those two little options there to choose what is on the tile. So you can see it got pretty close. You can see it almost had four here, almost had four here. It gets pretty dark close and it gets down to the wire. And that, my friends, is Naya. So let's head up to the game room and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts on Naya, which I kind of hinted at in the uh, intro, is a pretty cool little game. Um, the only thing I have, and I did watch a couple of the videos of other people that had done uh, reviews on these, and I have to agree them. I mean, agree with them. Uh, most of the artwork is, is great. The artwork is pretty cool on it. Sometimes it's it's kind of difficult to find the birds. I mean, there's one or two of the birds that, I mean, a couple of them are like, woo, I'm here, you know, and it's real easy to see, but some of them are like sitting on the cherry tree, and you're like, where is it? It kind of blends in with the tree, so it's a little hard to find, but that's a minor thing. And I totally agree with those guys that say that. On the other videos I watched, they kind of said the same thing. I noticed the same thing when I was um, when I was looking at the tiles. I'm like, okay, where's the other bird at? Where's I mean, they, and then you have two different trees you're looking for: the cherry tree and what looks like a cactus. You know, it's not a cactus; it's actually a different kind of tree. So, um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool little game. It's very fast, five minutes, ten minutes tops. If you're really thinking really hard, what they call analysis paralysis. That's what they call when, it, when you're kind of, you know, sometimes the game might take longer because someone's really takes a while to, you know, to do their turn. And that can happen in this game. But um, I like it. It's a pretty cool little game. Like I said, it's a five, 10 minute game, five minutes probably tops. And you're just trying to get four in a row. It sounds very easy. But, you know, when the opponent is forcing you to, okay, well, now you must make your move on these two characteristics on that tile. And you're looking going, Doc, that's not where I wanted to go. Because you're look, kind of looking ahead, too. You're kind of looking, okay, if I place that there, I, gotta, I want to make sure that he can't win when I place that tile, that that's one of the ones that they need to win. 
It's really crazy. Crazy. A lot of thought process going on such a simple little game. So if you can find it, get it. You can find it really cheap. I got this in McKay's. I believe it was like six bucks. So I was really happy to find it for that cheaper price. And I'm watching a couple of videos on it. And I'm like, yep, I'm sold on it. I want to get it. And I, I got it. So really great purchase. I, it's a keeper. I will definitely keep it in. I will not be trading this in for any kind of credits. I will keep it. Plus it's in a tin and it's very small. So it will definitely uh, not quite will fit in your pocket. It's not that small, but it won't take up much room if you want to bring it somewhere to play a quick little game with somebody. Um, you know, maybe right before dinner, right before you go to bed, just kind of boom. And then you're done. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the game. Uh, let me know if you have it, don't have it. Maybe it's not up your alley. Maybe it is up your alley. You might be looking into it. So Naya by Blue Orange Games. Thank you so much, everybody, once again. And as always, happy gaming.